G'day guys, welcome to G-Man Speaks. Today we're gonna to take a look at a channel called Big Ward the Genius, and he has a video called Attention Young Men, Don't Get Married or Have Kids. So I do value videos like this because they do give you insight into what really can happen uh, if shit goes downhill. So I'm gonna put the original video in the description, so please check it out. Let's get started and I'll interject here and there as per usual, guys. So grab a drink, let's um, enjoy it. Good evening. Today is still Tuesday, January 30th, 2024. I am back with another email topic. And uh, I'm gonna rub some people the wrong way, but the people I'm trying to help, that's all I care about at this time, at this moment right here, which is young men. Good man. Listen to this young man. I got a message for y'all at the end of after I read the topic. I read the email. Uh, this is a 28 year old man, right? He was married for seven years, separated for one year. His wife just up and left him and took the two sons. She won't let him see the kids. I want him to have him call her. Why ain't have the kids call him? Both are under six years old. That's the thing, like a lot of guys are out there and you're living in Fantasy Island thinking that you're going to get married and you get this perfect little family, uh, perfect wife who's going to adore and, and love you um, and have this idyllic white picket fence. But that could all go up in smoke very quickly. Um, unfortunately, uh, I've seen that happen. I've had women up and leave on me uh, without as much as a goodbye. Um, and I've seen it happen to other guys, just getting absolutely destroyed. Now, one, one of my best mates, Larry, I'll always talk about him. This exact sort of thing happened to him. Um, he caught his wife cheating. Now, um, he tried to work it out for a while with her, but he just couldn't stomach it. So they tried for about 12 months, and he yeah, he had to pull the pin on her and all that. But she's made his life a living hell. Well, he's just getting better now. It's like been like six years. You know, It's been the worst thing I've ever seen happen to a bloke. Um and what happened? Well, he lost all of his assets, his house, everything. He lost 70% of everything he had, got put it back into debt to try and buy back the house he had from the bank um, to then pay her out, right? He had to leverage up his property, which he already had paid off. He had to pay out all, half of his superannuation or more to her, hundreds of thousands of dollars there. Cash from his account, she got him. Belonging to the house, she got him. He lives in a little apartment. He, he, he struggles to see his kids because the kids have been poisoned against him by the mother. And so the kids are saying, no, I don't want to see my dad because the mother's saying bad things about him um, or, or his side of the family. Um, that It's like isolation or alienation. And he's really struggling with it because his own kids don't like him because the mum is saying things and he knows it because those kids adored him until you know he had to break it off. He couldn't stomach living with a cheater. That's a tale of caution, guys. Two young boys. For whatever reason, the mom or whatever, she wasn't happy or whatever. You know, the marriage didn't work out, whatever, she wasn't happy. Whatever happened, she just took the boy and left. She said it got had him up in a, they, they were living in a nice, big, beautiful home, pool in the backyard, well taken care of. She had whatever she wanted, whatever. I don't know her side of the story or why she left, whatever. I'm just going off what he's saying. But for whatever the reason, they didn't work out. She up and left him. Okay. She wasn't happy the relationship didn't work. I don't really care why she left him unless he was like abusive and, and dangerous or whatever. A threat to the kid. Other than that, let the man see his kids, even if y'all don't work out. That that's what's best for the kids. But let, let me let me go on. He said he still provides for him, but there's no communication with the mother. She's rude when we talk and you know she talk real crazy, either mad or uh, scorned or whatever, who knows, like I said, I don't know her side of the story. She might just be a rude person, I don't know. But she only messages when she needs something. Yep. I keep all the messages for the lawyer, for when I, you know, when you're gonna, he gonna, that's what I was gonna suggest, take it to the people downtown, so he, he getting the lawyers together and all that, keeping all proof and information. I'm doing what I need to do for myself, spiritually and mentally. My problem is not her seeing other men, because I know she's going to do that. I just don't want other men, uh, there's a problem of, of having other men around my kids. 
Yeah, and that's something that um, personally I don't have kids, so I never dealt with that. But I could imagine that would be very, very hurtful to have some other dude around your kids and, and sort of coming in and them looking up to some other guy in your house that you paid for while he's banging your missus while you've been kicked to the curb. Once again, my friend Larry deals this exact thing. I made a video a few months ago. It was around Father's Day. Um, and he was excited because he was taking his kids um, for Father's Day. And it turns out, um, change of plans from the mother, she wanted um, to put on a Father's Day, um, like a family thing, pretend it's all happy families with um, Larry and her and the kids. But the new boyfriend was also there and being celebrated on Father's Day with his own kids. So this, this shit happens and it destroys men. So guys just don't think it happens, but it does. And you, women, or what do you say? Why is the woman being nasty to him? Generally, when women are done with you, you're worse than shit to them. You have no value. You're like um, you're like a dead fly or a dead bug on the boot. And, and they don't give a shit about you. They don't care. They don't think about the man. You've served your purpose. You're done. They're no longer extracting value from you. So what purpose do they have to be to be nice to you? And what they want to do is if something um, untoward happened in the marriage, so say my friend Larry, uh, she was done cheating, right? Now, obviously, she doesn't want her kids to know that. Uh, he hasn't said anything, and the kids are now teenagers, but he hasn't said anything about it. I don't think they know about it. But he's isolated Larry's side of the family because she doesn't want any leaks. She doesn't want anyone saying anything. Now, she can't control it forever. It's going to get out. But... Larry's side of the family has been alienated because she can't control what they say to the kids. So she literally withholds them from his side of the family, which he hates, but he doesn't do anything about it because he doesn't have much of a backbone. Um, and he's just happy to get what he can get. And if she lets him see his own kids, crazy shit. And the thought of them calling some other man daddy, even though they know who I am, she said they don't because you're so young or whatever. So basically, she's trying to hurt him by telling him that. I'm divorced, right? Recently divorced, same situation. She didn't up and take the child, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I just left the house. I let them have the house. I did. Probably she's going to get the house anyway. But anyway, I ain't want none of that shit. It was so messed up at the end, I didn't want nothing. You can have it. I'm going to go on and I'm going to take care of my son. So I held on longer than what I should have held on trying to make it work, right? Trying to work it out. She didn't want it. She made it clear she didn't want it. I didn't even give a damn. We had got to the point to where we weren't talking no more in the same house. It was fucked up. I didn't even care about the marriage no more. I didn't care if she stayed out all night long, didn't come home, whatever. I just wanted to be there with my son because I was trying to prevent. Women are bad. Like, this, you know, this guy is a masculine guy, big dude. By the looks of him, he can't hold a woman. He can't control them. I had the same thing, guys. Once they once they turn off on you, once they switch off, they act so badly because they want you to dip on them. They don't want you. They they don't want to have to do it because women are cowardly when it comes to breakups, and that's why a lot of women just disappear and they take kids and they disappear without the guy knowing and move out of homes and do all sorts of stuff. And I've talked about my experience in various other videos. I came home from work one day, guys. My house was cleaned out. You know, he has a few things left, like a dinner table in the bed, but there's no trace of her there. She was gone. She disappeared on me. I never spoke to her properly ever again, only through uh, legal representation. And that was fine. I was very upset at that, that she'd done that. So I didn't want to talk to her, but there was no, that was it. One day you're married and, and one day you're not and you don't even know them and you haven't spoken anymore. You can just be discarded just like that. It, it sounds like a horror story. It happens. It sounds like it's happened to this guy. Once again, I was married, guys. I had a woman I was living with who didn't want to talk to me, didn't want to know me. I was walking around on eggshells. She was done with me. At the time... I have my head in the sand. And a lot of guys have their head in the sand when there's bad behavior. And then when they do get drop kicked, you, we act all surprised about it. But we saw the signs of I me mean, you a lot of the time. But women are horrible, horrible creatures when there's nothing left in it for them. Put down in the comments if you've had similar experiences. Share it with the other gentlemen. It's a real sad state of affairs. Men just get absolutely destroyed. Other men from being able to be around my son. So that's what I was trying to do. That's why I held on so long. That took a lot of shit, a lot of belittling, a lot of disrespect, just for the sake of not leaving my son to other men being around him. Because I thought that was going to be the end of the world. That was going to be the worst thing ever. 
And my son was young when I left. And I just, I, I had, it was just an imaginary nightmare of how it was going to be not being in the house with my son and her with other dudes around my son. You know, I just I already pictured what it was going to be like before it even was like that. But just, I just knew that how it was going to be and I didn't, I, I didn't want that. That's what you don't want. That's the main thing you worried about is other men around your kids. That, and that's what a lot of us worried about. And that's the thing. Like kids, women see the kids as their possession, not not a joint joint children where you hear women say oh they're my kids or i'll let you see my kids or whatever it is it's actually the thing with larry like this guy I had to talk this guy off the edge man he was ready to buddy end it all at one point because he thought he'd lost his whole world his whole family some other guy was going to come and move in the house and take his kids now admittedly yeah the wife has got a new boyfriend who spends a lot of time at the house around the kids so he wasn't wrong there and he was so he's telling he's seeing a guy like that one of your best friends, the nicest guys in the world, just absolutely torn up for no reason of his own, that would change the way you look at marriage and having kids. I think that was almost a final nail on the head for me not having kids when I saw what he went through all those years ago and helped him through it and, you know, was there for him. Shocking. Shocking. It just rips the guts out. Look at this guy is almost quivering even thinking about his own situation. You know, it's, it's, it's horrible. When we leave our kids behind with the mother, but I want to encourage you and let you know it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Now, I ain't going to, I ain't have to do all of what you're going to have to do to see my kid because she didn't keep my son from me. She didn't do that. So I'm grateful to her for that. I didn't go through this part that you're going through with not being able to talk to my son. I was still able to come get him. Me and her were just done. But she didn't interfere with me and my son's relationship. So I was blessed on that aspect. So that, I don't hate her and have no ill feeling toward her because how we didn't work out. The cause of what you're going through, I didn't have to go through. But if I did have to go through that, what you're going to do is you're going to be patient. You ain't going to do nothing stupid. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You worry about shit that's irrelevant. Your son calls my little daddy. Long as you do what you need to do, you're going to be there where they're going to know you their daddy. I don't care who she dating. You gonna be there, whether she let you be there or not, because you put the white folks in it. Her ass going to jail and she don't abide by that court order. She gonna go to jail. You don't need her permission to see your kid once you put the white folks in it. If you doing everything you say you you doing, so you just gonna lay low, get your ducks in a row, get your money right. Well, you say your money already right. Get your lawyer together. Go down there and file your petition or whatever for divorce. If she ain't already filed, you gonna file. Go on file for divorce, get that shit over with, and file for joint custody. Now what you gotta do is, um, you gotta strike while the iron's hot when you're going through all this shit. A lot of guys put it off or you think there might be a chance that maybe you'll all get back together and be happy families and you drag and drag and drag. And the woman's out play banging dudes in the house while you're sitting in your little apartment. Same as Larry. Larry isn't divorced yet. Larry, Larry's been separated for like six years now. She has a new boyfriend and everything. He can't bring himself to do the divorce. And I don't know if it's a, he can't be stuffed kind of thing or it's just something inside of him that he can't face that he has to do at some point because she won't do it. So you guys, strike while the iron's hot, dude. Um, when, I, when, when, when my ex-wife walked out on me, the very next day I was, I was on the phone to um, <laughs> family lawyers trying to work out what, what to do. So you need to be very, very, very quick um, to the punch when you're going through such a horrible thing. You just need to cut it off and get things done, get financial agreements done, 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 push it as fast as you can because the longer you drag it, the more exposed you are. And especially if the woman's nasty, they can really fuck your life up. Anyway, about halfway through, guys. So if you're enjoying the content, um, please sub to the channel. Aiming for 10K subs. So really value um, you guys joining and continue to watch my channel as we grow together. And if you really want to help me out, guys, just watch my videos through as long as you would like to. Um, as all that watching time, that's what YouTube pushes me out um, for a wider audience. That's sort of one of the main metrics, so you know how it works in the background. That's it. Don't try to be rude to her. You know, all that full custody. Be fair with it. You want joint custody where she can't do nothing without talking to you about it. Moving and all that type of shit. File for joint custody and your visitation rights, you're not giving up your parental rights, none of that. You file for divorce and you want joint custody. And y'all work out what y'all gonna do with the property in that divorce proceeding.
Don't even worry about the material shit. I left all that shit behind. Didn't give a damn. So you make good money. If you have to leave some shit behind the house, whatever, fuck that. Just make sure you have a relationship with your kids. Go get your lawyer. I don't know about that, man. Like, I see what he's saying, but leaving the family home and stuff like that puts you instantly on the back foot. You're more or less forfeiting it. I understand what he's saying. Be a man, get shit done, leave things behind. Who cares? I don't recommend being the one who volunteers to leave the house. If they want to go, let her leave. That's what I did. Um, while she did leave, we did have Argy Bargy in that morning. She did say to me, I want you to leave this house. I said, I'll never leave this house. So when I got home, she was gone. She never told me she was going to go, but she went. Don't leave your house. Don't leave your home you've put your money into, guys. I don't agree with that because once you've done that you're on the street and you've got to just work out what the hell you're doing while someone's living off it is you got to continue paying that mortgage on that you don't just stop paying the mortgage they can drag you out for a long time in family court if they're nasty if they want to bleed you dry if they want to smoke you out to you know agree to things that they want you to agree to i think it's really horrible that these this is such a widespread thing like I've heard this story happening. It's happened to me. It's happened to other guys. Guys emailing me. You guys in the comments. No one tells young men and warns them enough before it's too late. A lot of guys find this stuff after the fact. A lot of guys aren't seeking it out when they're in love, uh, when they think the world is perfect and that woman that they're with couldn't be able to turn and be this. Do you think this guy or me or other guys got with a woman who we thought would bite us in the neck and rip our throats out and leave us in the driveway dying, taking the last two bucks out of our pocket, putting us through immense stress, anxiety, depression, <laughs> dark times. Like, guys, I'm not going to lie. Going through a divorce, I don't wish that on anyone, especially if there's kids involved. And I didn't have kids, and I really went to a dark place myself. Like, it's not a good place to be. I would not, I don't have any enemies, but I wouldn't wish, if I had them, I wouldn't wish it on them. It's horrible. It's a death. It's worse than a death. You know, I've had people pass away in my life. I think a divorce was worse for me. It's just a death of you as a man, a death of everything you believed in, a worldview shattered. And, you know, you, you have to rise from the ashes as a new man because the man that existed before and thought he had a social contract and had everything lined up, um, if he did the right things, he'll get a good result. That man's dead now because a lot of the time you can't go back to thinking like that because you've seen what the reward is for being the good man, the family man, the sacrificial lamb. There isn't much reward. And if you do think you're getting a reward, well, that's only contingent on a woman not deciding one day that's to up and leave you. File for divorce. Joint cousin. And fight from that point on. That's what you want. And you ain't bending. No, you ain't bending. Joint custody. If she ain't file, you file. Don't don't ask for it back. Don't try to work it out. Uh, I'm sorry. Unless you fucked up. But even if you did fuck up, don't go back begging and let her calm down. Even if you messed it up. Don't go try to ask her to come on back, baby. Give me another chance. I'm sorry. I'll do right. Don't do none of that. If you messed up, apologize and then keep it moving. Let her decide on her own if she want to come back to you, if she want to forgive you. Because a lot of times a woman will calm down instead of you ain't begging and running behind. Because if you run behind and beg, you're going to make it worse. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I mean, I don't recommend doing it, guys. Even if you, you did fuck up. I've done in the past. I've fucked up with women before and... You turn into a bumbling mess when you realize that you fucked up and they've you've been caught or whatever you've done, right? I had, an, I had an experience like that when I was out womanizing. I actually got quite fond of a woman, but I was playing her against many other women and she found out about it and she was very upset about it. Um, and then, yeah, I was like chasing her, sorry, 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 and blah, blah, blah. She wanted, didn't want to bar of me, mate. So, you know, guys do that. I've done it. You know, it's just don't chase them. Uh, once they've made a mind up on you, there's no getting them back, especially if you've messed up. So you need to own it as men. I've done bad things in the past. I've done good things in the past. I've been reliable. I've been unreliable. I've been loyal. I've been not loyal. So I've done all sorts of things, guys. So I can tell you from experience that don't go chasing women around once they've turned off on you. Even if you haven't done anything right, don't go chasing her. Oh, sorry, wrong. Don't go chasing her because she's going to look at you like even more of a piece of shit. You know, you can't win someone back who doesn't want anything to do with you. I hate her. I'm, I hate her. You're going to make her hate you if you go to begging. She's going to lose all respect for you. 
So even if you was wrong, you know what happened. You know, you know the whole story. You know, so but just say you were wrong. That's why she left. Some she ain't happy about that. She said you did wrong and she left. Oh, I'm going to cut it there, guys. So I think the story is, and the whole point of this movie is, or this clip, shit can go downhill, guys. It's another cautionary tale for you all. Um, here, um, Many, many men get divorced. A lot of men don't talk about it. I think it's fantastic that YouTube is out there, that there's a manosphere out there that you know men can share information between each other, share notes, share good experiences, share bad experiences, warn the younger generations. I never had any of this coming up. And yeah, there was YouTube and that, but I wasn't out looking for this sort of content. So I think it's good that there's more guys out there on the front foot saying, hey, young guys or guys who aren't experienced, this is what can happen. This is the bad shit that goes on. I know a lot of guys will do things anyway. Yeah, 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 it won't happen to me. You're just some washed up old guy who's upset because your wife left you or your wife, you know, your family blew up and you think that, you know, love doesn't exist or whatever it is. That's what guys will say or think. But my final and my ending remark here today is there's a very high chance it's going to happen to you or someone very close to you. So before you become judgmental, keep your ears and eyes open. Listen to what other men have to say. Don't discard us. We're trying to help you. All right. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. And as I said, keep your wits about you. Um, and thank you very much for getting to the end of this video. See you in the next one.